Hi folks and welcome back to my review of the New Jay Order. Today we're going to go over a six part short story which actually makes kind of it like a little novella here written by Greg Keyes and it's called Emissary of the Void. Now this took place in the Star Wars Gamer issues 8 through 10. So the first three issues were in the Gamer magazine. Now when Star Wars Gamer unfortunately got discontinued they moved the story over to the Star Wars Insider issues 62 to 64. Now to save people from confusion, StarWars.com did post the first three parts of the story for free online so that people could read it and catch up and know what was going on. And in uh, issue 62 of The Insider, they explain where the first three are. They said, hey, this is part four of Emissaries of the Void. If you want to read the first three parts that were in the gamer, you can go to StarWars.com. It's free for everyone to read. Really nice of them to do that and nice that they believed in the story. Obviously, it was written. They wanted it to happen. But to post them for free was really nice too, so all the readers could catch up. Now I was collecting both the gamer and the insider, so there was no 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 confusion for me. I was locked in on it. This is a fantastic short story. Uh, you can tell that Craig Keyes was a big fan of the Junior J Knight series, meaning at least that he read through them all. Because of course he knows Anakin, Tahiri, he puts Ikrit in there, and kind of ties up a lot of the stories and characters that we saw from Junior J Knights. Now there is another character that he decided to bring back, and that was Older, uh, L Lockett, or Loche, or whatever. Uh, Older was the kid who really wanted to be a Jedi, and it turns out he had no Force powers. So what's he been up to this time. Uh, and all this time, he, uh, well, first off, it starts off where he comes to the rescue of two Jedi, uh, Clin, Clin Fee and Bay. Uh, their, their peace brigade is after them, and they're trying to capture them, and uh, Older gets them on his ship and then takes off and loses the peace brigade. Now, after he saves them, the Jedi thank him for that, and they say, hey, look, we may need your help. We're trying to complete our mission. We found out that the Vong are trying to contaminate the Bakta, you know, and that's going to be really bad for the war effort if they do. So can you help us? We kind of have the inside scoop of where to go and what we need to do. And he says, absolutely. Well, during that trip is when he says, yeah, you know what? My friends are uh, Jedi Knights, you know, uh, uh, Anakin and Tahiri. In fact, I tried to be a Jedi, but never really worked out. And then that's when I realized who he was. I couldn't, I mean, they said his name and I didn't, I don't, I don't remember that kid's name from Junior J Nice. But when they started talking about him, I was like, no, that can't be the same kid. And then I looked it up and sure enough, it was the same kid. I was like, yes, we get to see what Older's doing. And it's really cool because he decided since he couldn't be a Jedi, he was going to live like a Jedi. So he joined a rescue and aid on a planet there. And he just kind of drives me. He's kind of like an ambulance, first responder, you know, in a way. So he does what he can, even though he can't be a Jedi. He, he lives in, to help other people. And I thought that was wonderful. Again, I love o Older's story in the Junior J Knight series because he's a kid that won't wants to be a Jedi and you're thinking he might, but he never does. He doesn't have the force. It doesn't work out for him. Now, kind of cut to the end of this story here. Uh, when they go to stop the uh, Bakta contamination, it turns out that Bay is actually a fallen Jedi. He's kind of a dark Jedi at this point, and that's kind of revealed. And Older is the one that kills him with a lightsaber. Oh, does that mean Older's a Jedi now? No, he still didn't have the force in him. So, But he was the one that kind of saved the day. This is his little story. You know, he's not going to be included in the big story, sadly, uh, with Anakin Tahiri. And there's no need to put him in the big story. He wouldn't have that much to do. So they gave him a little, Greg Keyes gave him a little short adventure to let you know, here's where he is right now. He's fine. This is the kind of life he's leave, li living. And I absolutely loved that peek into Older's life. Absolutely loved it. Now, I'll talk about another small reference, because I can't remember exactly where it is in the New Jedi Order. But they would reference little people like that to let you know where they are now. Now, for instance, uh, Key and Farlander from the X-Wing series, and one of the New Jedi Order books, I, I don't remember which one, he is mentioned as Admiral Farlander. J J he's just a one-off reference of Admiral Farlander fighting this. And at the time, I didn't catch that. Then later on, I learned that this was a guy who was in the X-Wing series. And they said, yeah, by the way, he's still around. He's an admiral now. You know, he's older now. He's not a young X-Wing pilot anymore. And I love how they just threw little bitty connections. We don't need to see much. We don't need to see a whole Key and Farlander story. You know, not many people would get that. And I don't know how many people would be excited about that, but me, who loves continuity. But to see what Older's life is and to see that they picked up this character, this, you know, kind of throwaway, insignificant character from Junior J. Knights and gave him his own little six-part mini-series or mini-short story uh, here, 
I thought it was great. I really love that. And again, this is another reason why I love Star Wars Expanded Universe material, because all the connections and the continuity that gives you. And as a reader, you don't have to know that Older was part of the Junior J. Knight series. You don't have to read the Junior J. Knight series to enjoy the book. But if you did read those children's books, which they know you did, then they reward that reader by giving them an extra peek into that person's future, what they've been doing now. Beautiful. That, that right there is why the Expanded Universe is a far better and superior story than any other. Alright folks, I'll see you next time with another video.